Hi guys and welcome. I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and on this video we're doing an interview with Anish Shabani from Innova Robotics. We managed to speak to Anish at the Innerobo 2016 robot exhibition in Paris, France. Innova Robotics manufactures innovative robots by blending decade-long experience in robotics research with unmatched economic competitiveness due to its unique position as the first robotics startup in Africa. Right, hi guys, uh, Philip English here, so uh, 2016 uh, in a robo, and uh, we've got another stand for you, so uh, we're going to give you an intro into this one. Um, if you could um, like introduce yourself and then give me an, like an overview of the company. Yeah, so Enis uh, Sabani, I was associate professor at University Pierre Marie Curie until 2014, and I came back to Tunisia to uh, build the uh, Innova Robotics startup which is the first company in Africa and MENA region that uh, build, design and builds its own brand robot. Right, so you've come from the education side of things and then you've developed these, these, these robots for more of the commercial world, is that, is that right? Yeah, but also for education because our first the robot that we put on the market in 2014, it's the mini lab bot which is uh, dedicated for university and for labs, so for teaching and making research on it. It's a completely uh, open platform uh, in terms of hardware and software, so we can, it's a kind of plug and play platform, we can put many sensors and uh, we have a human uh, use. Uh, uh, useful human machine interfaces uh, which is easy in fact to learn robotics uh, and help people and students mainly to learn robotics. Okay so again so you've got the education side, side there so um, so you got that one but you've also got a security one as well is, it, is, it, is that right? Or? Yeah in fact the security robot it's uh, developed it's the first robot in the world uh, that uh, that is for outdoor uh, for outdoor security uh, it's like a uh, patrol guard uh, okay. and uh, it's completely autonomous. Uh, it's uh, the first, as I said, uh, in the world uh, for civilian use because you can find uh, ones that are used by military, but this one is for civilian use. Okay. It's about 150 kilograms. Right, okay. Uh, so, so that's the weight of the entire robot. Right, yeah. I mean, so what can the robot uh, hold on top of it? So, so like, can it carry certain stuff on top of it as well? Or? Right. Uh, in fact, it's for uh, intrusion detection. Right. So, uh, we can find on it four infrared camera, okay. uh, 360 degree uh, thermal camera, okay. a micro, a microphone. It can transmit all uh, this information through uh, radio transmission or through 3G, 4G transmission. So uh, on it we can find the GPS. So we have just to put points on the map or uh, we can make a, a little pattern with the robot and we indicate points through them have to make its pattern. And right. the robot uh, autonomously computes its trajectory and he can change it at random so it, uh, it makes patrols at random. Right, so how does the robot know where, 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 where it is? Is it through GPS or, or has it got to build a map? No, in fact uh, the robot uh, got GPS information right. in order to uh, compute trajectory. And right. it's equipped also with uh, two laser, one in the front and the other one uh, in the behind of the robot. Right. And he can avoid obstacles uh, and uh, change the, its way autonomously also. Right. And he has an autonomy of uh, eight hours. Eight, eight, eight hours. Right, yeah. So if it, if someone walks in front of it, then it, it, it will see someone there, and and it would divert. First, he send alerts because he, it's for <laughs> intrusion <laughs> detection, for security, and yeah. uh, he cannot go through the person. He avoid the person, and uh, right. uh, in some uh, situation, can track the person also. Right. Okay. No. I mean, it sounds like you've got a whole host of di di different robots, like one for like the education and one for security. So yeah, it'd be quite interesting to keep an eye on you guys and see sort of the next steps. Um, what what sort of cost is the security one? The security is less than fifty thousand of euro. Okay, fifty thousand euros. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, have you ha have you had uh, any light de 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 deployments uh, in, we in have Europe? We've already or? deployed uh, some of them here in France, uh, in the region Ronal. Okay. And we have a contract with a big company uh, specialized in security right. uh, to distribute them in France. They distribute them in France, right. Okay. Right, brilliant. Right, we'll definitely keep an eye out for you guys. Brilliant. Like, thank you very much for your time.
Welcome, thank you very much. And please come to Tunisia to see us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the interview and I want to say a big thank you to Anis from Innova Robotics for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about Innova Robotics, I've put in the links below for your review. Now, if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date with the latest videos that come out. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.